In this tutorial we will show you how to create the pride style of poster. The pride can be created using any of artisticaction.com templates unlimited poster templates. In this tutorial we will use the football CB chalkboard series. The photos, cutout and sample poster template can be found on your second DVD in the pride poster files folder. Click on the crop tool to make your current tool. If your tools palette is not open, then go to Window, Tools. Click on Tools to check mark it. You should now be able to see the tools palette. Using the crop tool we are going to crop the cutout to 8 inches by 14 inches resolution 300. The reason for this size is we don't want the cutout to fill the whole 12 by 18 poster template but we do want it as the main image. Crop the cutout, being sure to include all of the cutout, getting as close as you can while still including the full cutout. If this size of 8 by 14 does not work for your cutout, because, for sample, the one you are working on is much wider. Then change the 8 to 10 inches and try again. The 8 by 14 size is just an educated guess, from doing these for years. So adjust the size, as needed to best fit your poster. Once you have it all selected, then hit the enter key or click on the check mark, to finish the crop. With your poster template open and cut out open and cropped. Then click on the move tool to make your current tool. If the background copy layer is not your current layer, click on it to make it that. Drag the cut out, background copy layer into the poster template and drop or let go. Minimize the cutout and on the poster hide the place pick here, border and color border layers. These will not be needed for this type of poster. Rename the background copy layer, cutout. Double click on the name and type over the text to change name. Move cutout to about where you want it on the final poster, you will still be able to move and raise size if needed. We are going to move the knees down to the bottom of the poster, so that they look natural and do not look cut off. Zoom in, to be sure. Add a background color. Double click on the color background thumbnail, to bring up the gradient fill. Click once on the gradient to bring up Gradient Editor. Select a gradient from your loaded presets or create your own. We are going to create one from a black and white preset. Click on the white color stop. Now in the color area that is white, click on that to bring up the color selector. With the ink dropper pick on an orange part of the cutout. Tweak the color a bit if needed. Click OK to close color picker. Enter name for this gradient and click on new, to add as a new gradient. Click on OK. Try reversing it to see if that looks better, if not check or uncheck again. Click OK again. Open the photos you would like to add into the background. We have already opened them. Go to Window and click on one of the photos. So that the photo blends well with the poster and does not stand out more than the cutout we are going to drag it under the color background layer. Scale the photo larger or smaller, if needed. We are going to scale a bit smaller. Go to Edit. Transform. Scale. Click on the chain link icon to maintain aspect ratio. This scales the height and width equally. Enter the amount to scale. We are going to scale down to 90%. Hit Enter or click the check mark to finish scaling. Move it closer to center, using the Move tool. 
scale again so that it fits on the poster and can be feathered. We are now going to feather photo. This will remove the hard edges and the photo will blend better. To feather click on the rectangular marquee tool. Enter 200 pixels for the feather amount. Select an area just inside the photo, keeping the main player towards the center of the image. Go to Select. Inverse. Hit the Delete key or go to Edit. Delete or Clear again. The Go to Select. Deselect. Add a layer mask to this photo layer. If using elements, you will have to use a large, soft, round eraser instead of using a layer mask. Click on layer mask to be sure that is current and what this is what you will be painting on. Then make black foreground color. White as the background color. Using a large, soft, round brush to paint out areas of the photo we do not want to include on the poster and also to better blend the photo into the background or poster. Start painting out areas. If using elements use the eraser tool instead. Paint out the hard edges that still show. Make the move tool your current tool now that we are done painting out the edges. Move the photo where it looks good to you. Then we are going to rotate it a bit. Go to Edit. Transform. Rotate. Just rotate a bit, there is not an exact amount. You are creating a unique poster that is more art than exact rules. This is offered as guidelines and not exact rules. The more of these posters you create the more you will add your own special touches. We are going to repeat, for the most part, with the second photo. Open photo and drag into the poster, under the color background layer. Move to about the center to feather. Select the rectangular marquee tool. Feather amount 200 pixels. Again select inside photo, making main subject of poster about the center. We are going to move the selection a bit to the left to be sure that more of the ball is included. Go to select, transform selection. If using elements, undo and select again. Hit the enter key or check mark to come into changes. Go to Select, Inverse, then go to Edit, Clear, twice, or hit the Delete key two times. Now go to Select, Deselect. Using the Move tool, move the photo down and a bit to the left. Add a layer mask to the second photo to again. Paint out any hard edges. With elements use the eraser tool. Click on the new layer mask to be sure that is what you are painting on. Black as foreground color to paint out. White as background color. If you paint out too much with the black, switch them and make white the foreground color and paint some back in. Make the brush tool your current tool, again using a large, soft, round brush. Paint out the hard edge. Using the Move tool, move photo down and a bit to the left. We are going to scale the photo down to 80%. Then rotate a bit in the opposite direction as the first photo. Using the Move tool, move a bit more to where it looks good. Still using the Move tool, go to the Cutout layer and move a bit to where it looks good. We are going to lower the opacity and fill of both the photo layers. Go to Layer 2, 
and we usually lower the opacity and filter anywhere between 80 to 95 percent. Again this will be what looks good for these photos on this poster. Lower the opacity and fill for the other photo. Does not have to be the same as the other one. This is just another tweak to make the cutout stand out the most. Click on the cutout layer and drag to the new layer icon to make a copy of it. Now drag the cutout copy layer under the cutout layer. Select both the cutout and cutout copy layers using the shift key. Right click and select link layers. The reason for this is if we move or scale either of these layers both will be moved and scaled the same amount, together. We are going to add a layer style. Click on the cutout copy layer, this is the layer we'll add a layer style to, to make the cutout pop on the poster. To add a layer style, double click on the cutout copy layer. This will bring up the layer style palette. Click on styles to view add the presets you have loaded. We usually add a layer style with an outer glow of white or light gray and a bit of a drop shadow. Click around a few different layer styles to see how they look. Can tweak the style a bit if needed. Once you find the one you like, click OK. Lower the opacity of the layer style. Edit the text so that it has the correct team, mascot, player name and year. Go to File, Save as and save as a fully layered PSD file, so that it can be edited and used for the next player on the team.